It was summer or so all. The engines were working hard, taking goods and passengers up and down the line. So Tom and Hart came to the sheds. Thomas, I would like you to work on the main line, pulling the locals, stopping at every station. Thomas had never worked the main line before. She was excited. I won't let you down, sir. Then, Thomas, if you need any help, ask the first engine you see. And it's the top of hat. But Thomas wasn't listening. The local takes a lot of patience, Thomas. Remember to be patient. Advice, Edward. But Thomas paid no attention to Edward. This will be easy. He boasted, and he puffed away to the station. Thomas? He called. I know what to do. I know what to do. Thomas arrived at the first station. She waited for the passengers to get on and off. Hurry up. Hurry up. She said impatiently. As soon as the guard blew the whistle, he hurried away. Hello, Thomas. Called Percy. Sorry, can't stop. Shouted Thomas. Hurry up, hurry up. Thomas heard a passenger car door slam. Everyone must be on board. So Thomas puffed away. But some passengers were still oh, on the platform. What are you doing? Annie and Clarabel tried to tell Thomas, but he wasn't listening. Edward saw that Thomas had left some passengers. Oh dear, I'd better go after him. Thomas hurried to the next station. Edward chased after him. Wait, wait. He called. Thomas didn't hear him. And he wasn't paying attention. He rushed straight to the station. Thomas screeched to a stop. Oh, bother. Now I'm going to be late. Suddenly, Edward bustled up. Thomas, he left some passengers behind. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. You were in too much of a hurry. You must be more patient. Thomas knew Edward was right. I must go back for the passengers. He collected the passengers from Edward and shoved quickly away. Good luck. He reversed back down the line. And the passengers knew he was sorry, so they couldn't be cross. No harm done. If we hurry, we could still make it. He puffed as fast as he could. I must make up for lost time. Now Thomas was more patient. He stopped at all the right stations. Please be quick. And things went well for the rest of the day. That night, Thomas returned to the shed. The fat controller was waiting. Oh dear, what will he say? Thomas, you made a mistake, but you learn from it. And you delivered the passengers on time, he boomed. You are a really useful engine. Thank you, sir. He was very happy. And more patient when he's out on the main line.